Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And kung bago ka pa lang dito, my name is Sam. I do sewing and pattern making tutorial. So for today's video, gagawa tayo ng pattern ng culottes. So yung culottes natin is usually shorter than sa usual pants natin. Usually ang measurement ng culottes is from waist to mid calf. So usually yun ang length ng ating culottes. So let's get started. Ito yung mga measurements na kailangan natin. Siyempre, kailangan natin ng ating basic skirt block. So, sa tutorial na to, gagamit ako ng half scale pattern. Pero lahat ng measurements na mention here are based from actual body figure or sa dress form. So, first, in A to B is the length of culottes. So, that's, that is from waist to mid calf. So, example natin dito is 24 inches. A to B is 24 inches or sa desired length ng ating um, culottes. Next is A to C which is equal to hip level. So, ang hip level natin is 8 inches. Then, A to D is the crotch depth. So, we have an example, 11 inches. So, square out tayo sa lahat ng points na ginawa natin. Yung A, C, D, and B. So, yung mga lines na yun is the waistline, hipline, crotch depth, and the hemline. So, next natin is to draw 1.5 inch na guideline sa para sa side seam ng ating skirt. So, sa both side ng AB line, gawa ka lang ng 1.5 inch guideline. So, kunin na natin yung ating skirt block. Then, yung side seam ng ating skirt, idikit lang natin siya dun sa ating guideline na ginawa. Next is to trace natin yung outline ng ating skirt. Kasama yung darts natin using your tracing wheel. So, ikukomplete ko lang yung dotted lines na ginawa ko para makita nyo yung figure or yung outline ng ating skirt. And then, label lang natin siya ng back and yung front natin. We'll start tayo sa may back part. So, yung sa crotch depth corner ng ating back pattern mark natin siya ng E and then yung F so point E and F and then dun sa my waistline sa my CB mark natin yan ng point G F to H so ang computation natin is 1 fourth of hip measurement plus 3 fourth is and then i-divide natin to 3 so, that is your F to H. Then, dun sa hip line level natin, extend lang natin ng 1 cm. Yan yung ating point I. Then, i-connect natin ng G, I, and H with French curve. The square down tayo from H. And then, mark natin ng point J. So, square down from H hanggang hemline. And then, J to K is one half of the side hem circumference. So, kung gaano kaluwag yung gusto mo sa ating hemline. So, yan yung ating J to K. And then, yung K to E, connect lang natin siya ng uh, straight line. So, ayan yung ating back pattern. Sa so front pattern naman natin, mark natin ng L and M sa may crotch depth corner. So, L and then M sa crotch depth corner po ito. And then, dun sa waist, sa center front, point N. M to O is equal to 1 fourth of hip measurement divided by 4. So, mark natin yan ng point O. Extend natin yung CF hip line to 1 centimeter, then mark P. 1 centimeter mark B
connect natin yung N, P, and O with French curve. From point O, square down tayo, then mark natin ng point Q. From point O, square down tayo hanggang hemline, then mark Q. So, yung Q to R naman natin is 1 half of the side hem circumference. Then, mark natin yan ng point R. Then, connect natin yung point R to point L with straight line. So, yan yung ating front pattern ng ating kulots. So, adjust lang natin yung waistline ng ating back. So, itataas lang natin yung uh, waistline dun sa may point G. So, i-level lang natin siya sa may side seam. Add natin yung mga sewing allowances. So, yung pattern ng waistband, meron din akong separate video for that kung paano ginagawa. As well as yung basic skirt, meron din ako niyan. So, check nyo na lang yung link sa my description box. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something new from this video. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with all of your friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye!